have a question for Mila. Just raise your hand with the mic over to you. Obviously, the second half Duke is having trouble getting good shots. Was it something Virginia Tech was doing, something Duke wasn't doing, or a combination of the two? Um, yeah, I think it just came to execution. You know, in those late moments, as well, we really just got to lock in and uh, do what we do. I think you had, you had double figures and rebounds. I mean, how does that happen? Um, I think just hustle. I was trying to do. What I can out there um, and rebounding was a key for um, against this team. So I was just trying to do my job, box out, and get those rebounds. Hey, Bela, what difference did it make not having Celeste Taylor and Lex Gordon on your show? Yeah, you know, they're a um, big player, a big part of our team, and um, you know, yeah, they're a massive part of our team, but we're really um, excited when they can come back and join. Yeah. Um, first, I wanted to ask, so obviously, you tried to sell a lot of doubles in this pit base, especially late. You were helping off a lot on Asia um, Shepard or Kayla like, Keaton to affect those. Was it, was the strategy just work if they get the threes, when they get the threes? Uh, yeah, we definitely didn't want late threes, but, you know, it's just, Locking down and doing our job, and you know, kudos to Virginia Tech, but we're going to get back in our lab, um, work hard, and get refocused for the next one. For you personally, what was the what was the like plan or, or like strategized adjustment to your role coming in to help sort of make up for Taylor's absence? Uh, yeah, you know, we all have roles on our team, and um, it's just about everyone bringing their best foot forward, um, doing what they can to help the team. So yeah, everyone just had to step up and do what we do. Just the same question I asked me why was Duke having such a hard time running his offense, especially in the second half? Um, just similar to what Camila said, like we come out there, we try to execute like what plays we have called, and I think that's something that we still have to see working on. And we do that where it went. Just kind of a follow up. Duke had a hard time forcing turnovers, I think. Take only had nine turnovers. Um, how were they able to run their offense so uh, so efficiently? Um, again, like we're gonna take a really good team, and when they execute stuff, then it's just you know we gotta play our best defense, and we have some support. But again, we're gonna get back into the gym and just work on things that we need to work on. Yeah. What exactly does adjusting mean on both ends coming into this game from the Um, one big thing just following the game plan. I feel like coming into the game we have right tools and the right idea just being able to execute it on both ends and working on the same thing. Gotcha. And then with Virginia Tech's backward defenders just being such like quality defenders, well, what is your approach? How do you change up from a team that needs a level of defender? I think it's the same thing every game is just coming out and you know playing with confidence because I know what we can do and what we play our best and we can play against any defenders. Hey, um, so I know you didn't get any fouls today, but how did it feel to be on the court and watch the team get 20 fouls? And how do you feel that like led to the struggle? Like, um, how do you feel like that caused issues for you guys on the court today? Um, well, obviously, I think a free throw is an easy point, so I think it's a huge emphasis for us to just you know come back and work on our fouling. But I think we did our role in the other parts of defense, and just coming in and following the game plan. 